Hi, I'm Chelsea Magnet. I am a cybersecurity policy manager at Google, um, and I graduated from the MPA program in 2022. Hi, I'm Eric Shea. I graduated from the Golden School of Public Policy in 2004 with an MPP. Uh, I'm currently the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Energy Storage at the U.S. Department of Energy. My name is Nicole Barden. I'm a Senior Program Manager at Amazon in Last Mile, so I focus on uh, getting packages delivered to customers in an effective manner. And I was at GSPP and graduated in 2012, and I was in the MPP program. Hi, everyone. I'm Charmila Velour. Uh, I graduated from the Goldman School of Public Policy in 2016. Uh, after spending two incredible years of my life there. I uh, work at the World Bank right now, along with several other international organizations. And I work on bringing electricity access to the underserved communities across the world. Hi everyone, my name is Danielle Carnes. I graduated from UC Berkeley in the Masters of Public Policy program in 2016. I was also a Presidential Management Fellow in that same year, and I started working at USAID. Uh, which is the Agency for International Development. I spent six years in Washington before going overseas for my first tour as a Foreign Service Officer. I am currently serving as the Democracy, Human Rights and Governance Officer in Guinea, Conakry and in Sierra Leone. Right now I'm working on a five billion dollar project uh, focused on 20 countries in East Africa. So, uh, and I'm required to produce the economic and financial analysis to justify why this project should go through. Well, we fund clean energy innovations for the power grid to make our electricity supply system cleaner, more reliable, resilient, and affordable. And my group in particular uh, works on energy storage, which you can think of as huge batteries that can power a house, a campus, an entire city for hours, weeks, or days. My job at Google is really to um, you know, help represent the, the product side of Google, um, specifically on cybersecurity. So really talking to policymakers about the various tools that we have to offer um, and, you know, what we're bringing uh, to, to government and to customers. Um, I also help advocate for, for policies from government um, that, that really represent our values. So. Um, open internet, transparency, um, strong cybersecurity protections, things like secure by default. Um, so really helping policymakers understand our, our priorities and then also um, translating what priorities exist in government back to the business. So when we see regulation or um, you know the, the latest executive order on AI as an example, um, helping the business understand how it impacts uh, them and, and us and uh, how we can uh, get our products uh, up, up to standard and um, to ensure that we're complying with regulation. So I support our logistics program with our delivery service partners and that means that um, I specifically look at you know, how packages are delivered from the last Amazon facility to the customer's front door um, and a lot of the work that I do focuses on uh, communications, process improvements, um, and overall just a kind of program management skills. I help to advance U.S. foreign policy by promoting democracy and good governance practices in the countries where I serve. And so that means working with local organizers, working with the local government to ensure that they have the capacity to be able to govern better, that they can better enact their policies. We give them the resources and the technical expertise that they might need to be able to achieve their own development goals and to help promote better governance at the national level. The thing I enjoy the most about my job is just like the sense of um, giving back to to so many people. Google touches billions of people across the world and I feel really privileged um, to, to have uh, a role in helping protect them in their online activity. Something that I really love joy about working at USAID, and this really is the reason I got into development as a practice in general, is the ability to learn from people who are different than myself. I very much appreciate going to someplace new where people might speak a different language, have entirely different cultural backgrounds, and then being able to learn from them, being able to communicate with them, and very much 
feeling myself be challenged to grow and adapt in that new environment with those new friends. Enjoy the scale of impact, um, the ability to be able to um, you know, be successful in our deliveries means that customers get things that they uh, want or need um, in a timely manner. So, uh, the ability to go to bed every night thinking that I have done something helpful to someone somewhere uh, is, is the best part about my job. So in terms of my Goldman School education, I've used a lot of different aspects of it. I think probably some of the most important have been the soft skills, or as someone said, the emotional intelligence side of the program. So whether that's presenting, whether that is facilitating or being able to convene actors together. A lot of those skills that I helped, I worked on at Goldman have been absolutely crucial in the work that I do at USAID. I also have used some foreign policy, some policy analysis and some um, of my analytical tools from time to time, particularly when conversing with, with an audience that is more technical. Um, it's, it's excellent to be able to understand the language, to be able to work with them, and to ensure that they have a, an actor who is informed that they can engage with. Yeah, I think, um, you know, the Eightfold Path, which is something that I think um, GSP students, it's a common thread for all of us, right, that have been through the program. And I think the ability to have a framework by which you think and analyze is really important. And I think what I've been able to do is kind of add different frameworks to that. Um, and I think that it's really helpful to kind of be rooted um, in a thought process. Uh, for me, the, the part about my Goldman School experience um, that, that's most valuable, which I hold with me even to this day, is, is the ability to work collaboratively and recognize that there are people who, uh, who know topics better than you, and you bring a level of expertise um, uh, to the, to the table to, to, to recognize that you should continue to be good at what you are and but work with people who are incredibly good at what they are so that you learn from them and also produce something that's really good collaboratively. The thoughts I would give to prospective students on how GSPP has helped me in my career is that GSPP gave me some tools that I didn't have before in terms of how to talk about policy and technology. My background, um, I spent uh, almost 10 years in the intelligence community within the U.S. government um, and had a very specific look at foreign policy and um, you know all of the issues that, that go along with that. But GSPP was great in allowing me to, to kind of look at some of the foundational aspects of, of policy writ large and then also um, apply lots of other, uh, you know, tidbits and learnings from other schools. I took a lot of classes from the information school, um, from the business school, and it really gave me like a well-rounded perspective on technology and technology policy. For someone who's thinking about going to graduate school to study public policy, I came to it because a, an economist, PhD economist that I asked for a reference for a PhD economic program told me that he felt like policy was more hands-on and was better suited based on my interests and his understanding of what I wanted to do. I think public policy uh, grad school is a great choice for anyone who wants to have an impact on the larger society. That could be that you're interested in, you know, policy and setting policy. Um, it could be that you're interested in kind of lowercase p policy. So looking at policies at a specific institution or a company um, and trying to make them more effective. And I think that the core skill sets that you learn in policy school about being a creative thinker, a strategic thinker, uh, being someone who can communicate effectively and really being able to navigate various different stakeholders, whoever they may be, um, are, are skills that will serve you well no matter what you decide to pursue. Thank you.